The Hubble telescope finds a string of galactic pearls. When cosmic events as spectacular as collisions between entire galaxies take place, they trigger reactions that create new stars and perhaps even new planets that otherwise would not have had a chance to form. The gravitational attraction that forces collisions between galaxies then creates so-called tidal tails, i.e. long, thin bands of stars and interstellar gas stretching through space. The Hubble Space Telescope is precise enough to spot clusters of newborn stars along these tidal tails. They form when structures of galactic gas gravitationally collapse, giving rise to about a million new stars per cluster, or star cluster. The telescope recently examined 12 interacting galaxies in greater detail, whose long, tadpole-like tidal tails are composed of gas, dust and lots of stars. Hubble's extraordinary sensitivity and precision in ultraviolet light allowed it to discover 425 clusters of newborn stars distributed along the tidal tails. They look like strings of brightly shining pearls or Christmas lights. Each cluster contains an estimated 1 million blue, newborn stars. Star clusters located in the tidal tails of galaxies have actually been known for decades. When galaxies interact with each other, i.e. begin to attract each other, it is the gravitational tidal forces that pull long strands of gas and dust from them. The two most common examples of such galaxy pairs are the antennae, also known as antennae, and mouse galaxies, with long, narrow, finger-like projections. In recently published research in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, Astronomers used Hubble's near-infrared instruments to examine clusters in tidal tails and determine their age, mass, and physical parameters. Just merging galaxies. The team used archival data combined with new observations. It was discovered that the observed clusters are very young, only 10 million years old. They also appear to be forming at the same rate along tails stretching thousands of light years. The tidal tails themselves look as if they are stretching the spiral arm of the galaxy and pulling it out into space. The outer part of the arm is pulled like a dough due to gravitational interaction with the other galaxy. According to team members, these observations explain how stars form and what regulates these star formation processes. This is knowledge that is crucial to understanding how stars were formed in our own galaxy, says Professor Sanchita Borthakur of Arizona State University School of Earth and Space Exploration who specializes in extragalactic astronomy. Let's assume that before the merger, the galaxies were rich in dusty clouds of molecular hydrogen that remained essentially quiescent and undisturbed. Then, during the collision of galaxies, such clouds became agitated and began to collide with each other. This resulted in hydrogen being compressed to the point where the processes of creating new stars from it were rapidly initiated, i.e. the so-called stellar storm.
That's where this shower of stars comes from. The fate of the star clusters formed in this way is uncertain. They can remain whole, unaffected by gravity, and continue to evolve over millions of years within the galaxy, over time forming classic globular star clusters like those that orbit above the plane of the Milky Way. They can also disperse, forming a halo of stars around their host galaxy, or be thrown away due to gravitational interactions and become wandering intergalactic stars, or in other words, free stars, not associated with any galaxy. Scientists note that this type of string of pearl star formation may have been much more common in the early universe. When galaxies collided with each other more frequently, the nearby Hubble galaxies discussed here are therefore only a modern approximation of what happened long ago, and thus allow us to look into the more distant past. The team was also surprised by the presence of so many young objects in the tails. This says a lot about the efficiency of the cluster formation process. Tidal tails actually create new generations of stars that probably couldn't exist otherwise. As a result, newborn clusters of stars form along a tidal tail stretching thousands of light years, resembling a string of pearls. A synthetic antibiotic effective against drug-resistant bacteria. Scientists have developed a new antibiotic that could give doctors tools to combat drug-resistant bacteria and the diseases they cause. It's a synthetic product. In animal studies, the agent has shown effectiveness against many drug-resistant bacteria. Drug-resistant bacteria are becoming an increasingly pressing problem. According to estimates, they cause approximately 700,000 deaths annually around the world, but scientists believe that this number will grow rapidly and soon superbugs will be responsible for more deaths than cancer. Some reports say that by 2050, 10 million people will die from them every year. The new drug is the work of scientists from the University of Illinois at Chicago and Harvard University. Presomycin, as it was named, is effective against infections of many pathogenic bacteria that have developed resistance to commonly used drugs. The results and results of the work were described in the journals, Nature Chemical Biology, and, Science. Many antibiotics inhibit the growth of pathogenic bacteria by interfering with their protein biosynthesis by binding to ribosomes, which produce proteins necessary for life processes. By interfering with the production of proteins, they cause the death of bacteria. However, 
Many species of bacteria have evolved simple defense mechanisms by modifying their ribosome through methylation, adding a single methyl group. A molecule consisting of a carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms to their ribosomes at sites where drugs bind to the ribosomes. Using a method called X-ray crystallography to visualize drug-resistant ribosomes with exquisite precision, the researchers found that the methyl group not only physically blocks the binding site, but also changes the shape of the guts of the ribosome, which further interferes with the action of the antibiotic. Using the same method, researchers also investigated how certain drugs bypass this defense by determining the actual structure of antibiotics interacting with two types of drug-resistant ribosomes. We saw something that could not be predicted on the basis of available structural data or computer modeling says Yuri Polykanov from the University of Illinois at Chicago. Based on the acquired knowledge, they designed a new measure. The new antibiotic, called Cresomycin, is a synthetic product. It is designed to evade bacterial defenses, bind to their ribosomes and interfere with their functions. This is helped by its shape, which is optimized for binding to the ribosome, which helps it bypass the bacteria's defense mechanisms. It simply binds to the ribosomes and behaves as if it didn't care whether methylation occurred or not. It easily overcomes several of the most common types of drug resistance, emphasizes Polykanov. In animal experiments conducted at Harvard, the newly developed agent protected against infections with bacteria that had developed high resistance to antibiotics, including Escherichia coli. Staphylococcus aureus and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Scientists hope that these promising results obtained in animal studies can be repeated in studies involving humans.